One of the one things that we ought to be thankful for is that we are alive. And we are here and able to look at one another. And I hope today, before you leave, you would really let God know how grateful you are. Now it's not enough for us just to come here. Because we can come rolling down in the cast. We can come here and don't have hearing. Come on. Come on. Or somebody can be leading us in. Amen. So it's not just enough for us to be here. But we want God to be satisfied with our coming. So, Pastor, if, if, if y'all don't mind today, well, hey, well, well, I would like for each and every one of you to say, it's about me today. Come on now. All right, all right, all right. Some things you share with other people. Amen. Is that right? All right. And sometimes you want everybody to be around you when certain things are happening. Yeah. You just want it to be about you. All right, all right. Come on. All right. All right. Y'all would feel like that. Well, yeah. Come on now. When we go in our secret closet, right. and we know that we want to tell the Lord the truth yeah. and nothing but the truth. Come on now. I don't think we invite too many people in. Come on, come on now. Come on. Why? Because we want it to be about me. All right. It's all about me. Is that all right? All right. Look at somebody else around you and say, it's all about me. Do y'all really believe that? Now, sometimes, Reverend Walker, we want to share our food. You ever go eat by yourself? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Isn't that a good thing sometimes that you can just get by yourself and just embellish you? Well, sometimes the men get in the shower and they be in there by themselves. Sometimes a woman just like to go and take a nice bubble bath. No children, no husband, nobody else. Nobody bothering them. They just want to be about me. All right, come on. Is that right? Now, when we come to church today, and sometimes when we come, we get sidetracked, and then we get disturbed, and sometimes we have whispering in our ears, and sometimes we have hunching with the arms and stuff like that. And we really can't make that connection with God like we want to. Why? Because somebody is distracting us. Knowing that when you woke up this morning, and even last night, you said in your mind, Lord, when I get to the church today, ain't nobody going to stop me from getting my blessing. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Nobody going to stop me from getting mine. All about me. Mine. Not yours, not ours. Me and mine. Amen. So sometimes in the service of God, the pastor be preaching and he be trying to get us to do it sometime as a unit. But sometimes he want us to just...
just go in our own selves and extract yes. from God right. what he said through the message. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Bishop, one time when you were preaching there the other, other day, I was sitting back there, and I don't know if anybody could see, but that word was touching and tears were just, and I'm trying to make sure nobody kind of see the tears and stuff, because uh, it, was, it was me and the words that you were speaking, and my eyes were cluttered up, and I was trying to do all kinds of things, just to show, just so nobody would see that it was about me. All right. All right. But sometimes we have to let it be about us. All right. In the book of Isaiah, I'm not going to go through it a lot because I've gone there before and some of you know in part what uh, I was trying to say from that point. And uh, it was talking about um, you breaking a loose and, and you allowing yourselves to really be impregnated by the things of God. Uh, because sometimes when we come into church, we see the choir singing, we see the musicians playing, we see the ushers ushering at their finest, and we see the pastors aid performing their duties and responsibilities in the church, and we see the teachers and the preachers preaching the word of God, and we sometimes say to ourselves, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish that I could just sing like her. All right. I wish I could sing like him. All right. I wish I could preach like him. Well, come on now. Sometimes we have that wish thing, but it's because it said I, 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 I wish, wish, wish. I is about me. I. We sit in here and we say, I wish I. Not we wish we could, but I wish I could preach like that. So it becomes an individual thing. It becomes an individual thing where that you want something to happen in you so that you can perform in the service of God. All right. Come on. And every one of us in here today comes so that we can get something from God. And some of us want to get something so that we can give something back. Is that right? All right. Amen. And we want God to be glorified in whatever he has deposited in us. Yeah. Or we look at the children around us and, and somewhere along the line, somehow or another, somebody got pregnant and had a baby. Well, come on. And you look at that child and you hope that you will deposit something in that child that one day you can reap from what you have sown into. Yeah. Come on. Well, today God has deposited something in you. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. God has impregnated you as an individual with something. All right now. Not all of that, but he gave angels to surround you so that the angels can cultivate and nurture and nourish that thing. When you are by yourself, you give God all kinds of praises. Sometimes you cry and sometimes your hand be waving because you and God is having a thing going on. So that thing that God has deposited in you, he's wanting to yield to receive some of the fruits that is yielding. Some of the fruits that is yielding. Some of the fruits that is yielding. Pastor, some of us come in here and we sit by the sideline and we hope.